I get the question sometimes, what carbon dioxide level, CO2, should I be aiming my house for? A lot of people will know that outdoor levels hover around 400 parts per million, and they might think, oh, I want that to be my carbon dioxide level in the house. Uh, the reason that you should care about this is that research, not, not just opinions, has shown that over a thousand parts per million, our brain function and how smart we are essentially starts to uh, go down. Also, we have problems sleeping, you might get headaches, you feel woozy, you feel gross, like it's just not that pleasant. In fact, the symptoms of carbon dioxide uh, uptick are gonna be the same as carbon monoxide. Carbon monoxide is a poisonous gas that we're worried about in other videos, which I'm linking on screen now. If uh, that is what you're looking for, go over there. But carbon dioxide is something that we actually breathe out. There are filters that can actually capture CO2, but they are not widely available for residential applications. So we have to use dilution air to do that. That's what things like air cycler uh, ventilation, ERVs, like the Brones and Renew Airs that you've seen on our channel recently, Opening windows is a way to do it technically, but it doesn't have the control, which I'm linking a video on screen now about why opening windows just does not work in today's world for homes. But um, you can see right here, my CO2 reading, and it's a little elevated. It actually spiked right when I stepped over here because I'm standing close to it. So you wanna make sure that this thing is not right next to your family's dining room table or next to the couch that you're always sitting at because it's going to give you an elevated reading. I really like this one. This is called the Aeronet 4. This runs on like two AA batteries, I believe, and it's going to last for like two years. And it's because it uses e-ink, which is the same thing that we use on our like electronic books now. And so it, it only uses electricity to sniff the air on, at a very specific time once every couple minutes and then to update its reading if it needs to on the screen here. So I trust this one a lot. This is actually the best one under $1,000, according to the scientists that we uh, work with. And this one is only about 250 bucks. So I highly recommend that. We also have CO2 showing up on some other readings around the house using the Brone Overture uh, readouts that we've got at certain points around the house, which are controlling some of the ventilation in this house. This right here is the AirThings Wave Plus, and that also is tracking the Aeronet 4 is keeping a week's record of the carbon dioxide. This Wave Plus will keep a long-term record of it. And so I'd like to show you that the carbon dioxide over the past week, month, and even year never spikes above 900 parts per million. And that is what is possible with ventilation when you're using filtration to circulate the air and filter it to clean it, and also dilution air along with pressure relief, humidity control, all the things that we're worried about in the five factors of ventilation, which I'm linking on screen right now. But that 900 parts per million keeps us 100 parts per million below that threshold of, mm, we're a little bit worried about the air quality in here because it seems like it's getting polluted by exhalation and all of the things that are building up pollution-wise inside because of human um, occupation. And so if you can keep your level below 1,000 parts per million, in my opinion, that is a healthy home. Like I said, ours never goes above 900. In fact, it rarely goes above 800. It's mostly when we're all congregated right here trying to get my kids to uh, tie their shoes or put their jackets on, things like that, that it tends to go above 800 even. So trying to get your home's carbon dioxide down to 400, which is outside levels, and really it's more like 430, let's say, would be totally ridiculous. Um, because it would basically mean that you're living outside. You would need to dilute the air in your home so much that it would be almost impossible to temperature control it, humidity control it, and you'd then be exposed to all the pollutants that are coming from outside, which if you live in places where there are wildfires, places where there's pollen, uh, those are gonna start affecting your health adversely at the expense of you getting the carbon dioxide into control. So I don't really see why you would wanna shoot for a level that's lower than a thousand parts per million as your, your max. Now I have measured, uh, because I take this thing with me, the carbon dioxide in places like malls, restaurants, airplanes. I have seen the carbon dioxide on airplanes when you're sitting there on the tarmac and everybody is really pissed off and annoyed at each other and you're all trying to pick your seats, get up to 3,500 parts per million. You want to make sure that you're keeping it at a reasonable level while not being 
a super nerd about uh, just this level because of course remember that this is just one of the aspects. What the Wave Plus or another, um, I mean this frankly is my favorite that I'm using in my house, any uh, IAQ monitor is monitoring multiple things. The temperature, the humidity, you want those to be within ranges, right? The carbon dioxide is one thing, the VOCs, which are things that you smell, the staleness and the odors in the air, the particle count in the air, the radon level in the air, you want all of those to be handled, not just the carbon dioxide. So try and use a, a reasoned approach when you're getting at this. Don't get addicted to just one measurement um, at the expense of others. Please do comment below if you have other things to add about carbon dioxide specifically, or if you have questions to ask about um, ventilation, which is not the topic of this video, but if you subscribe, You'll get tons and tons of stuff about that. Again, if you want to consult with me, I do coachings and consultings for people all over the country and the world to help them to tune their homes to achieve things like this uh, where they live. Thanks very much for watching. Like and subscribe. Tune in next time.